Hello everyone, welcome to Fight Corner. Today we will be covering the scariest knockouts in boxing. Also if you enjoy this video don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what video you want to see next. Number 10. Manny Pacquiao vs. Ricky Hatton After being nailed by numerous right hooks and dropped twice from Manny in the first round, Hatton was knocked out cold from a Manny left in round 2 with just a second left in the round. Manny fainted the right hook then shot his left crashing flush on Hatton's chin. Hatton was out before he hit the floor. He laid unconscious for several minutes before coming to his senses. To surprise me with what he brings to the table. It's always a little better than I thought. Second round by Manny Pacquiao. Is there any question that he is the best fighter in the world right now? Number 9. Juan Manuel Marcus versus Manny Pacquiao. On their fourth fight against one another, Marcus caught Manny with a perfect counter right hand as Manny recklessly charged in. Towards the end of the sixth round, Manny seemed to have Marcus hurt and in a bit of trouble when Marcus landed the well placed counter. With Manny's momentum coming forward, the punch was quite an impact. It snapped Manny's head back with his hair flailing all over the place as he fell forward on his face. The impact of the punch was so hard Manny's hair stood straight up on contact. Pacquiao laid face down unconscious drooling on the canvas. The knockout came right at the bell in the sixth round. He knew he was coming, he just caught his rhythm because that's what has caused. So that's the shot. Bam, right on the button. That's the way lifted this round. Number 8. Sergio Martinez versus Paul Williams. Martinez caught Williams, who was known to have an iron chin, with a haymaker overhand left as Williams was coming forward that instantly knocked him out cold. Williams toppled over face first in slow motion. After crashing down on the canvas, he laid there unconscious with his eyes open and motionless for several minutes. The knockout came in the second round. Number 7. Mikkel Kessler vs. Alan Green 17 seconds into the fourth round, both fighters simultaneously exchanged left hooks with Kessler landing first and flush on Green's chin. Kessler threw his hook while rolling to his left while Green threw his flat-footed. Green crashed to the canvas out stiff with his head awkwardly spun to the side. <laughs> Это страшный нокаут. Мы видим, судья даже не стал считать тогда он до конца. Он вынимает капу изо рта Грина. И не позволяет тому встать. Number 6. Arthur Abraham vs. Jermaine Taylor During the last round, Abraham cracked Taylor with a 1-2 that split Taylor's gloves nailing him on the chin sending him straight back and out. The way he dropped and disturbing noise Taylor was making while unconscious was scary. The knockout almost killed Taylor. He was hospitalized for a severe concussion and bleeding of the brain. Many, including myself, think that the knockout severely and permanently damaged Taylor mentally. Number 5. Ray Mercer vs. Tommy Morrison 28 seconds into the fifth round, Mercer hurt Morrison with a right that sent Morrison into the ropes. While dazed and caging up defensively, Morrison gets hit with a left hook that really hurts him. Then Mercer lands two hard rights that knocks Morrison out. Even though Morrison was unconscious, he was still being held up by the ropes. While unconscious with his hands down at his sides, the referee allowed Mercer to land numerous hard blows on Morrison before he finally crumbled to the canvas. And Morrison has in his 27. Mercer, pounding away. Morrison may be going. Morrison is gone.
Number 4. Roy Jones vs. Art Serwano During the first round, Roy Jones pawed a jab to Serwano's chest then followed with a hard overhand right smashing into Serwano's temple. Serwano crashed to the canvas. He was having a fit on the floor, mouth open, and his eyes rolling to the back of his head. It's a lead right now. It, it's a small jab as a rangefinder went in his head. Number three, Alvarez versus Amir Khan. Amir Khan was outboxing Alvarez in the early rounds due to his superior speed and footwork until Alvarez landed a killer overhand to Khan's chin that knocked Khan down and out cold. Khan was left unconscious with his eyes rolling to the back of his head and him laying there panting heavily and badly bruised and battered. This was and is most definitely one of the most scariest knockouts over the last few years. Taking away his energy and every oh, oh, and Kenny Bayless is stopping the fight. And Canelo Alvarez is the first one there. Number 2. Deontay Wilder vs. Arter Spilka Deontay Wilder hits really hard. After a competitive 9-plus rounds, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion obliterated Arter Spilka with a right hand from Helen at the Barclays Center. The punch landed flush on the Polish contender's chin, and he flopped to the canvas and laid there motionless. Here's a look at the destructive counter that ended the fight. And there you go. The corner coming in. He's out cold. Referee just needs air time because he's sitting there counting. What are you counting for? That's what I mean. Don't back up. The Beat other, him. And this time, the adjustment was made by Wilder. The fight. Number 1. Deontay Wilder vs. Sirhey Lyakovich Deontay Wilder's destructive punching power was shown to full effect when he annihilated Sirhey Lyakovich in a brutal first-round knockout. The 34-year-old WBC champ stepped into the ring with the Belarusian fighter in August 2013, only a few months after he destroyed Audley Harrison in his only UK bout, and Wilder followed up his performance against Harrison with arguably his scariest knockout at the Fantasy Springs Resort Casino in Indio. California. The knockout artist caught Lyakovich with a brutal right that forced him onto the ropes before following up with the finishing blow. Wilder unleashed a ferocious right hand that landed on the 43-year-old's left temple and sent him crashing to the canvas, but Lyakovich was left convulsing on the floor as he lost complete control of his legs and arms. Referee Tom Taylor immediately stepped in and called an end to the fight, but he also dropped to one knee and placed one hand on Lyakovich to stop him from twitching. Good quick left hand shown by Wilder. There's a right hand, drives Lakovic into the ropes. Down he goes. And it's over. They're just they're here. right there. Stay 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 Hello. Stay stay goodbye. Stay, 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 stay. Thank you, combat sport fans, for sticking around till the end. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment what video you would like to see next.